really been painting and having art, art in my life since I was a small child. My mom went to school for art, my uncle is a professional artist, and my grandma always painted, so I've been around art my whole life. But recently, um, I was a graphic designer for 17 years, and then started, my sister actually gave me a paint set uh, for my birthday one year and so I started getting off the computer more to relax. I wanted to start painting and putting um, paint to a canvas and doing something that didn't involve pixels for a while. So that's been about five years I've been um, pursuing actual painting. I feel like my art is a little different from other people's because of how textural it is. The um, super three-dimensional aspect to it I think is different than a lot of artists at this point. I started using, with the three-dimensional paint, using palette knives and things, and I realized I just felt a little stifled with the shapes that I was able to create. And so after watching all these baking shows, I'm like, oh my word, all the cupcakes and stuff have some of the shapes that I would like to be able to use in my painting. So that's what first inspired me to um, use piping tools and things on my paintings. So the process that I start with is first, it's just pure texture on canvas. So I just start with a white medium and it's just laying down a layer of texture because texture is very important to me to see how the paint interplays with that texture. After that's dry, it's many layers of paint, just like pure color on the canvas. And I do a lot of spraying and so that the paint drips and seeing how different colors interact with each other. And then after I have all of the layers of paint down and have a background that I feel like I like, then I start working on some of the three-dimensional aspects and laying down some of the different textures with palette knives and the piping decorating tools. And that is really an organic process at that point because I'll lay some colors down and then see what I feel like the canvas needs at that point. So I start chalking out some ideas and kind of seeing what I like and as I add more color and add more texture and then I'll add some more paint on top of it and drip some stuff or add some ink or some drawings to it um, until I feel like it's actually a finished piece. And that involves just letting it set sometimes for a day or a couple weeks just looking at it and trying to feel like if I feel like the, it's got all it has to say and then the, the um, completed picture is done or not. When I'm at an art show and I have um, all of my paintings on display in the booth and people walk in and the typical reaction is, wow, this makes me happy and that makes me so happy because that is the whole point. I think that you should have art on your walls that makes you happy and brings you joy because there's so much negativity in the world. I think we all need some joy and peace in our lives. <laughs>